Hare Krishna, my dear Prabhus, dear Matajis, good morning. Thank you for joining our morning Japa session. Again, that is 5.30 to 7 o'clock. You can log in and log out anytime. Or you can stay for the whole time to chant your rounds with us. And welcome to the Brush Bhakti Academy, the Srimad Bhagavatam study. And um, hello muna sa ating mga Zoomers. And also those who are watching the Facebook Live. Divai Prabhu, Moksha Lakshmi Mataji, Noreen, Riza, McCoy, Oliver, Paolo, Rolly, Jonna, and my dear Prabhus, Ranet Prabhu, and Navadip Chandra. Good morning. So, yes, and you know the drill. Before we enter in the realm of the study of Srimad Bhagavatam, we should be in the proper mood, in the mood of request, in the mood of humility. So join me as we recite the invocation mantras. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Jaiva Narutamam Devim Sarasvati Vyasam Tato Jayam Mudirayet Nashta preyashu abadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati utamas loke bhaktir bhavati naishtiki. I offer my obeisances to the Supreme Personality of God at Vashadev. Before reciting this stream at Bhagavatam, which is the very means of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisances to the Personality of God at Narayan. To Nara Narayan Rishi, the supermost human being unto Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and unto Sri Vyasadeva, the author. By regular attendance in the classes on the Bhagavatam, and by rendering of service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed. And loving service unto the personality of God, who is praised with transcendental songs, is established as an irrevocable fact. Yes, previously... Yudhisthira Maharaj is um, speaking with his younger brother, Arjuna. And what happened was, si Arjuna was so dejected and hindi siya um, masaya. He is uh, beyond depressed and he is even crying. This great Arjuna. Then Yudhisthira inquired regarding their relatives, their friends in different kingdoms, in Dwarka, in Mathura. And he, Yudhisthira, um, was not satisfied kasi alam niya na si Arjuna, um, hindi rin yung mga um, sinasabi niyang reason bakit siya sobrang lungkot. Parang isa lang yun. Then, what happened was, si Yudhisthira Maharaj directly as Arjuna regarding Arjuna's um, status, his welfare, welfare. So let's continue to read from Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto creation, text number 39. My brother Arjuna, please tell me whether your health is all right. You appear to have lost your bodily luster. Is this due to other? Others are dis disrespecting and neglecting you because of your long stay at Dwarka. So, Yudhisthira Maharaj is asking about Arjuna's health. And also, sasabi niya, parang you, you appear na walang gana, wala kang luster yung katawan mo. May mga taong ganun eh. Um, makikita mo palang parang may iba yung aura niya. Kahit hindi siya humingit eh. Iba lang, iba lang yung dating, iba lang yung vibration niya. And si Arjuna... Si Yudhisthira napapansin niya kay Arjuna, parang walang bodily luster, talagang very um, morose. And he's inquiring regarding pati yung health ni Arjuna. 
So these are different angles of vision na gusto makita ni Yudhisthir Maharaj from friends, from relatives, um, from uh, yung travel niya, yung health ni Arjuna. Although, alam naman niya, kapag si Krishna kasama ni Arjuna or may presence ni Krishna doon, walang inuspicious na nangyayari. And we talk about the hint ni Narada Muni kay Yudhisthira Maharaj and may hunch na rin, may intuition na rin nararamdaman si Yudhisthir. But he is not jumping into conclusion. He wants to confirm it given all the factors and the personalities around him. He is asking. Text number 40. Has someone addressed you with unfriendly words or threatened you? Could you not give charity to one who asks, or could you not keep your promise to someone? So these are something to be worried. Kapag nagawa mo yun na um, someone address you in an unfriendly manner. So parang ano ka naging kaaway or may nagtrato sa na hindi maganda. Given they are chatrias, they are great leaders and great warriors. It is very disrespectful. Um, chatria means to um, protect someone from harm. Hindi chatria to be proud, pero um, kahit paano, meron silang um, pride of being a warrior. <laughs> Sabi nga, this honor is worse than that. Another is, could you not give charity? The chatria orders, those are the administrative orders, um, those are leaders. Um, they have funds. May pera sila, may yaman sila. And those who seek shelter sa kanila, mostly the brahmanas and the other, um, the, the, uh, the vaishas and the sudras, they are giving charity, lalo na sa mga brahmanas. The brahmanas are those who are, uh, may mga saintly, sadhus, mga monks. Um, and the chatriya's duty is to give uh, charity mga donations, or tiyatawag nilang dakshin. And mostly, yeah, sabi nga ni Prabhupada first line, a chatriya is, or a rich man is sometimes visited by persons who are in need of money. So when they are asked for donation, it is the duty of the possessor of wealth to give in charity in consideration of the person, place, and time. So those who have something, should give something. Those who, have some, um, those who have a lot should give something to those who, who are in need. So, duty nila yun. And duty na mga meron to give something to those who are in need. That's to share, not to be greedy. And it is shame, um, shameful kapag yung isang chatria was not able to give. Kung natandaan nyo, naging um, cause ng anxiety ni Yudhister yun. Wala na siyang funds after nung war. They have to find gold in the northern part ng ano, um, yung sinakupan ni King Maruta to perform yung mga sacrifices, fire sacrifice or yadna. And sabi rito, or could you not keep your promise to someone? <laughs> so yes, sobrang importante yan sa mga leaders to keep their promises, keep their words. Um... Try to compare what we have now in this modern society. Whatever pranamis ng mga tumakbo sa halalan, I don't know how many percent yung magagawa niya. <laughs> Pero ayun nga yun. Halalan nga daw yun eh. So, bulahan ng datingan. Pero hindi yun. Hindi yun ang um, virtue. Yung great personality and characteristic supposed ng leader. A great leader, lalo na lalo na sila mga saintly kings, saintly leaders. Those who are, they are men of their words. So, siya talo ni Yudhisir, baka naman hindi mo nagawa yung promise mo. Text number 41. You are always protect the protector of the deserving living beings, such, a Brahman, such as Brahmanas, children's, children, cows, women, and the deceased. You do not give them protection when they approach you for shelter. So yes, ayun yung purpose ng isang um, chatria to give shelter and protection so do, to those who um, ask that. 
brahmanas, children, cows, women, and the disease. Text number 42. Have you, have you contacted a woman of impeachable character? Or have you not properly treated a deserving woman? Or have you been defeated on the way by someone who is inferior or equal to you? So they talk, he, they talk about women. Kailangan ba? Uh, kailangan dito na trato niya ng maayos yung mga women. Uh, or those who seek, seek shelter sa kanya. Na treat ba niya ng maayos. And lastly, sinabi rito, Have you been defeated by those who are inferior to you? Si Yudhisthir Maharaj, he knows the um, process of this religious act and also yung mga codes ng mga satriya and also yung mga masasakit sa damdamin nila. It is very hard kapag tinalo ka sa war or sa fight ng isang taong inferior sa'yo or mahina sa'yo. If mas malakas sa'yo, parang katanggap-tanggap yun. Like si Arjuna was um, um, defeated by, B, uh, kay, by grandfather Bhishma actually yung lolo nila. Okay lang sa kanya yun. Pero kailangan tumulong si Krishna, di ba? Kinuha nga niya yung chariot, yung wheel ng chariot. Kinuha niya yung sulers ng chakra. Diba? Krishna have to break his promise para tulungan si Arjuna. Even si Karna, yung um, kalaban din nila, was so strong, pero equal sa ni Arjuna in that level sila. So, mas, mas may anxiety si Arjuna to fight and of course, tinulungan siya uli ni Krishna <laughs> para ma, uh, mapatay si Karna. Mm, nahulog sa crack ng lupa yung wheel ng chariot ni Karna. Then, no, habang binubuhat ni Karna yon, which is bawal, bawal mo patayin yung taong, yung kalaban mo na walang weapon. Ano, ginawa ni Arjuna, kailangan niya gawin, sabi ni Krishna yon, kasi wala siyang chance during that time. Pero supposedly talaga magaling na magaling si Mas malagayin talaga si Arjuna kay Karna. Pero it just shows how Krishna helps his devotee. Minsan kahit dehado na, si Krishna talaga tutulungan ka. Kasi uh, the devotees are very dear to um, Krishna. Text number 43. Have you not taken care of old men and boys who deserve to dine with you? Have you left them, have you left them and taken your meals alone? Have you committed some unpardonable mistake which is considered to be abominable? This um, householder, those devotees were having, um, living in, um, not living in a temple, those who live in their, uh, their homes, those who, are, um, those who have families, those who are providing for their families. My duty daw sila. They are required to call for such a hungry man thrice on the road. So, pagtapos nila magluto, they have to shout outside, Is there anyone hungry? Three times, is there anyone hungry? Is there anyone hungry? If meron, kailangan nila pakainin yan. Bago pa sila kumain. So, this food for life, dito talaga nag-originate yun. They have to feed yung mga surrounding people around them. There should not be people na may nagugutom. That is their duty. At tinatanong ni Yudhisthir, hindi ba nagawa yung mga galito? Arjuna. And Yudhisthir exhausted all the questions and he could not get the answer. Although he knows. And text number 44, he will finally ask yung kinakatakutan niyang question. Radha Nath Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Good morning, Prabhus and Matajis. Um, nice to be with you again. Happy Sunday. Uh, and um, we're fortunate again to be in this association of reading and studying. Most, important, most importantly, hearing from Srimad Bhagavatam. So yes, as uh, being mentioned by Radha Charan Prabhu, <laughs> and dami pang ano eh, Alam mo yung minsan parang pag may gusto ka talagang tumbukin, dadaanin mo muna sa maraming maraming mga paligoy-ligoy muna ng mga tanong. Although may talagang gusto kang tanongin na, ano yun, na bagay sa isang tao. Or parang inuunti-unti mo muna para ma-make sure muna. Kasi alam niya na eh. Alam naman nila eh. Mara Shudistir is very powerful. He has this wonderful um, uh, qualities. And 
for sure alam niya naman na eh. Alam niya na, alam niya na, na, na talaga yung reason as we are describing ano the mga previous verses di ba? Even yung mga omens nakikita niya. And then now this Arjuna is coming back na parang ano to parang walking dead. <laughs> parang ganoon di ba? Actually alam niya naman na eh. Pero parang sobrang sakit kasi direktahin. Baka 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 may iba pa talagang reason. Bakit ganyan si Arjuna o bakit ganito yung mga nakikita ko? Sana wag naman. Pero yun nga, dahil walang walang parang din tawag doon si Arjuna is uh, hindi siya sumasagot, pulala, 'di ba? Parang hindi hindi mo makausap nang maayos, hindi makatingin, mga ganun. Yung mga typical na humanly uh, tawag diyan, humanly symptoms na pag yung tao balisa, diba? sobrang balisa, taglag yung katawan, 'di ba? Parang ganun. hindi mo makausap. Sa, hindi makatingin nakatingin lang sa ere di ba mga ganun so para parang di parang ganun yung nangyayari and uh, in, in, as rather siya bro nicely mentioned and said exhausted in exhaust niya na lahat ng possible na mga uh, reasons why yung mga caliber na personalities like Arjuna being a chatria yung mga questions na may na-offend ka ba hindi ka pa nakapagsilbi ng maayos may nakaaway ka ba o oh, nag-break ka ba ng rules, ganyan. Tinanong niya na lahat. Tinanong niya na lahat yun. Hoping na sana, one of those questions, ayun lang yung reason why. Di ba? Kasi nag-hope pa rin siya against hope eh. Sana hindi talaga yun yung nangyari. Although alam niya na eh. In his heart, alam niya na. And he knows na yung nangyari na yun, na yung nangyari na yun, or yung iniisip niya na na nangyari yun, is going to be very tough for them. This is the mentality ng devotees. Not just uh, ordinary devotees, but pure devotees of the Lord, when they know, di ba, that the very reason of their existence, the very uh, source of their strength, uh, their powers, di ba, their, practically the very reason why they're living is gone. Na, parang ganun. Natatakot silang isipin yung ganun. And in this case, si Maharaj Yudhishthir, pinatang niya yung kapatid niya kasi siya nga yung pumunta eh, to visit eh. And syempre, katakot-takot na sight yung makita niya na yung kapatid niya babalik in that state. Parang, ano, ano ba ito? Ito na ba talaga? Ito na. <laughs> Kaya tinatanong niya. So, okay. We, we will be hearing from um, Arjuna. So, but before we, uh, I think this is the last text for chapter 14. So, we read the, the text. Text number 44. <clears throat> or is it that you are feeling empty for all time because you might have lost your intimate friend, Lord Krishna? <clears throat> oh, my brother Arjuna, I can think of no other reason for your becoming so dejected. So, di ba yun? Wala nang, hindi na siya makapag-isip ng iba pang reason na paano this, this mighty Arjuna na supposedly hindi naman naapekto ng mga mga ganong klaseng mga scenarios or unfortunate situations basta-basta because of being a chatriya, being a pure devotee, Lord Krishna, an intimate friend of Lord Krishna. Hindi sila basta-basta na nayayanig ng mga basta-bastang pangyayari lang. Because they are protected by Krishna, they are um, well ano parang yung yung stand nila sa buhay is always surrender to krishna kaya hindi basta-basta sila naapektuhan ng just ordinary you know, situations pero this time wala nang ibang maiisip si si maharaj yudhishthir tinatanong niya na yung kapatid niya malis na ba talaga si krishna nawala na ba si krishna sa atin talaga parang ganun iniwan na ba tayo ni krishna tinanong niya na diniretso na na this time kasi walang other reason para makita niya si Arjuna na nandong sta- state, di ba? Na choked up. Yun nga, yung, yung pinag-usapan natin. Balisa, makausap, mga ganun. Walang ibang reason. So, basahin lang natin yung purport very quickly kasi very short naman. And this is the end of the, chap- the chapter. Uh, purport by Srila Prabhupada. All the inquisitiveness of Maharaj Yudhishthir about the world situation was already conjectured conjectured by Maharaj Yudhishthir on the basis of Lord Krishna's disappearance from the vision of the world. And this was now disclosed by him because of the acute dejection of Arjuna. Acute dejection. You know, sounds like sakit. You know. Acute dejection. Sobrang, ano, sobrang 
feeling of separation. Ayun yung, ayun yung term na sa, sa sakit, acute dejection. Which could not have been possible otherwise. Yeah. So yun nga, hindi describe. Walang ibang, ibang reason. So even though he was doubtful about it, he was obliged to inquire frankly from Arjuna on the basis of Sri Narada's indications. Uh, yun. So gusto niyang makonfirm yung, diba, yung, pinag, yung dinidescribe ng nakaraan na si Narada Muni yung bigla-bigla lang dumarating sa mga sitwasyon. <laughs> yun, di ba, nagbigay siya ng mga signs and symptoms. So ito na ba yun? Ito na ba talaga yun? So yun tinatanong niya. So he was, tinanong niya na, pinarangan kanya na si Arjun na kung iina ba talaga yung reason why. So thus, end the Bhaktivedanta purports of the first canto, 14th chapter of the Srinath Bhagavatam, entitled The Disappearance of Lord Krishna. Palaging ganito kapag nag-e-end tayo ng, ng chapter. Laging sinasabi ni Shilpa kapag yun. So now we jump to text, uh, uh, to mean chapter 15. And this chapter is entitled, The Pandavas Retire Timely. So itong chapter na to, we'll be describing about how, pero parang wag muna, parang spoiler alert yun. Pero just a little bit overview of overview about this chapter. Yun nga, just like sa, sa life, Naroon tayong tinatawag na retired life. I think even even now, nowadays may mga people na nasa retired um, state of life na nasa retired life na sila. So after so many years of work and hard work, tumarating sa punta na, okay, this is enough. We should focus on our sense gratification. <laughs> that is the retired life for the materialistic people. <laughs> You know, okay, uh, let's let's pack our bags, jump in the boat, or road trip, or travels, you know, ganun. So, yung mga, yun yung mga retired, mga retirement plans ng mga tao. Pero from this chapter, may, may kita natin why and how the Pandavas uh, retire from their, you know, um, aristocratic uh, lifestyle. Not only that, as, as great leaders of society, we know that the Pandavas, specifically Maharaj Yudhisthira's rule, was very um, effective, very, um, you can say, uh, glorious or talagang ano, mabibilib ka sa kanyang ano. Pero at this time, because of what's ha- gonna happen, they will retire. And it's, it's saying here, timely. It's a timely retirement for them. Hindi naman sila actually ganun katanda, pero but they felt what happened to us in the experience natin sa buhay, this whole uh, clash between our relatives and the fight for uh, the, the proper, we can say, kingship, diba? for this kingdom and to uh, ruling, proper ruling of the, the entire world. Parang, okay, tapos na to eh. Tapos na tayo dun. So mag-retire na tayo. And ano yung gagawin nila? Ano yung mga steps na ginawa nila? How they, they retired? So basically, that's what this chapter is all about. As the uh, title says, the Pandavas retire time. So text number one. <clears throat> Sutta Goswami said, Arjuna, the celebrated friend of Lord Krishna, was grief-stricken because of his strong feeling of separation from Krishna, acute dejection. Over and above all, Maharaj Yudhisthira, Maharaj Yudhisthira's speculative inquiries. Purport. Being too much aggrieved, Arjuna practically became choked up and therefore it was not possible for him to reply properly to the various speculative inquiries of Maharaj Yudhisthira. Text number two. Due to grief, Arjuna's mouth and lotus-like heart had dried up. Therefore, his body lost all luster now remembering the supreme lord he could hardly utter he could hardly utter a word in reply assign ko muna lahat ng text na intended for me for this uh, chapter text number three with grief with great difficulty he checked the tears of grief that smeared his eyes he was very distressed because lord krishna was out of his sight and increasingly felt affection for him. Text number four. Remembering Lord Krishna and his well wishes, benefactions, intimate familial relations, and his chariot driving, 
Arjuna overwhelmed with breathing very heavy overwhelmed and breathing heavily breathing very heavily began to speak may purport yan ibasahin natin mamaya pero basahin muna natin lahat ng mga text kasi gusto natin marinig kung ano na eh masyado nating ano tawag dyan binibitin eh basahin na muna natin yung mga sinabi ni Arjuna <clears throat> ito na sa text number 5 translation Arjuna said O king the supreme personality of Godhead Hari who treated me exactly like an intimate friend, has left me alone. Hmm. Thus, my astounding power, which astonished even the demigods, is no longer with me. Sakit. Sakulap. Text number six. Which will be the last text uh, for me for this chapter. I have just lost him, whose separation for a moment would render all the universe unfavorable and void, like bodies without life. Ang tindi, no? Yung mga makakatang pananalita niya. Talagang nang gagaling from, kung meron mga heart siya pa na natitira. <laughs> Kasi yung mga devotees, pag may feeling of separation, practically their, their life is useless or parang technically parang patay na sila, parang ganun. At least that's how the pure devotees of uh, Lord Krishna uh, feels and th- this is how they uh, uh, ito yung mga symptoms na pinapakita nila and naturally na kanilang mga uh, nararamdaman so asan tayo asan ba tayo mga prabhus and matajis that is the very good question very good question na dapat uh, inatanong natin sarili natin nasan na tayo doon kasi yung mga pure devotees ni Krishna pag alam na wala si Krishna ganun so nasan tayo So as 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 weird as it may sound parang parang hindi naman tayo pure devotees eh. okay muna natin tanungin yun pero it's a good ano it's also a good inspiration kasi all these stories all these um, examples from the ma, um, Mahabharat yeah Mahabharat also and Shrin Bhagavatam particularly the, the Pandavas and also ko um, parehas din sa mga na feel ng mga gopis of Vrindavan These are very good inspiration or examples. Not very easy to follow. Not, ve- not that something that we cannot um, just simply copy or you know, imitate. Pero it should serve as a good uh, example for us, an inspiration for us. How we should long for Krishna. Uh, what should we really be feeling about our relationship with Krishna. Kasi sa, ma- sa unang... Sa unang sa unang verse tinidescribe ni Sheila Prabhupada sa text number I think 2 sa text number 4 diba we know that Arjuna is uh, one of the Pandavas pero his relationship with Krishna as sinabi niya nga rito treated me exactly as a, an intimate friend so describe ni Sheila Prabhupada yung yung relationship ni ni Arjuna to Krishna being that intimate friend na napakahirap napakahirap tanggapin para kay Arjuna na that intimate friend of mine is now gone di ba and we know from the battles not only from the battles even before the battles how um, when the Pandavas yung tinatra minimistreat sila ng kanilang mga pinsan how Krishna helped them a lot di ba there's a lot of stories there's a lot of incidents where Krishna personally intervened para lang um, bigyan ng association yung kanyang mga pure devotees, yung Pandavas, or bigyan ng protection sa atrocities ng kanilang mga kalaban. So Krishna always, Krishna was always there for them. Diba? And even even to the battle, at the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Krishna, diba? he took that role of a chariot driver for Arjuna. <laughs> And we can see how the Lord really um, takes a humble position. Because chariot driver, parang pwede mo sabihin, ano yan eh. Uh, may, may, may ano dun. At least at that time. Maraming pwede maging chariot driver eh. Parang dime a dozen, parang ganun. It's a dime a dozen to be a chariot driver. Hindi siya one in a million. Dime a dozen. Ibig sabihin, madali lang makuha. Parang ganun. Kasi Krishna, nag-take siya ng humble position na ganun. So, 
<clears throat> basically dinidescribe na lahat ng yon bumabalik sa memories ni Arjuna. <laughs> bumabalik lahat ng mga memories. And similarly, ganun din, di ba? Pag meron tayong loved ones na um, nawala sa ating association, sa buhay natin, di ba ganun yung usual na nangyari? Iniisip natin yung mga good times, sometimes even the bad times, but you are together trying to uh, maging makawala sa, ano, alam mo yun, maging... Makawala sa ganung situation, magkasama kayo sa good times and bad parang ganun. Si mga beloved uh, natin sa buhay. So ganun yung exactly nararamdaman ni Arjuna. <laughs> Di ba? Yung bata pa sila, how they how they treat each other and how Krishna parang you can say uh, partially and favorably, you know, dealt with them uh, as opposed to parang sa Kaurabas. How Lord Krishna saved them multiple times sa danger. So lahat yun bumabalik sa memories ni Arjuna. And it is it is natural for him na ganun yung ma-feel niya. Kasi parang yung source na nga ng buhay niya as we were talking about, as we were speaking about earlier, nawala na. Nawala na yung source ng kanilang power. And tinidescribe din yun sa Four Potential Prophet na yung yung bodily luster niya, his power, yung mga na-acquire niyang power is wala na rin. Parang simultaneously na wala na rin yun. Na, 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 na describe yun dito sa purport. Pero unahin natin yung chapter, uh, text number 4. Na yun nga, uh, that very specific na role na tinake ni Lord Krishna and uh, yung relationship niya with, with uh, Arjuna as a friend. And sa devotional service kasi, Diba yung nine processes of devotional service? Ano yan eh? Um, nine. Nine. Then yung nine processes of devotional service na hearing, chanting, remembering, etc. May mga, may mga personalities yan eh na, that have perfected that particular particular um, process. So si Arjuna being the friend, siya yun, siya yung representative ng process of devotional service of being an intimate friend na ni Lord Krishna parang ganun. So sa sa shravanam sa hearing it is described na si Maharaj Parikshit ito yung pinag-uusapan natin si Shrimad Bhagavatam. The nine process of devotional service one of them is hearing ang personality na kahi, na perfect ng hearing is Maharaj Parikshit. So ito yun di ba? Nalaman natin si Shrimad Bhagavatam. And sa sa describing naman or sa chanting is um, Shukadev Goswami. Siya yung nagde-describe kay Maharaj Yudhisthira. Tapos yung Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, di ba, um, remembering, remember naman. So pinag-usapan natin dito yung nine process of devotion service. So sa, sa remembering naman, as uh, some of you may know, there was this personality, Pralad Maharaj. Siya naman yung embodiment ng remembering, remembering the Lord. Kasi di ba yung, yung past time ni Lord Nishinga Dave how he protected Pradad Maharaj from the you know from the demonic father so everything he did was to simply remember Lord Krishna or his uh, uh, most uh, beloved Lord Vishnu in the form of Lord Nishinga Dave so Lord Nishinga Dave he protected him so si Pradad Maharaj yung embodiment ng remembering so hearing chanting remembering Chavanam kiri, Chavanam kirtanam, Vishnu. Pada sa ibanam naman. Pada sa ibanam meaning uh, serving the lotus feet. Um, personality naman na uh, nag-excel and literally uh, serving the lotus feet of Lord. He's uh, Lakshmi Devi. So si Lakshmi Devi, siya, siya yung eternal consort ni uh, Narayan, ni Lord Vishnu. Just like uh, there is Radha for Krishna. So it's, it's, it's same 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 personalities just in different forms. So literally siya naman yung serving the lotus feet kasi lagi siyang nandoon sa picture na si Lord uh, Vishnu or Narayan uh, nasa nakahiga sa sa bed and then Lakshmi Devi is always massaging the feet as a servant parang ganun. So siya yung embodiment ng same personality ng Pada Sevanam, serving the lotus feet of the Lord. And sa deity worship naman, yung Archanam, 
ba si Nabadi pa po siya yung sa DT worship natin dito sa Brachico Village. So sa, sa DT worship naman there is this personality na March pre to. It's a long story. But we will be fortunate enough to hear din kasi nasa Bagabatam din. Yun. But basically ginamit niya lahat ng kanyang possessions and wealth um para sa service ni Lord. Parang ganun. So all the all the all the tagyan paraphernalias, all his um um wealth, parang ganun. Lahat, lahat ng bagay ginamit niya para sa service ni Lord. So siya naman yung embodiment. Siya yung symbol. Siya yung personality na nag-perfect ng deity worship or archanam. And sa praying naman, vandanam, nasa number six na tayo. So tatlo na lang after this. Praying, vandanam. If you remember, di ba, yung pinag-usapan natin how <clears throat> meron si Krishna, meron siyang uncle by the name of Akrura. So on his way to Vrindavan, or on his way to 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 look for Krishna, uh, mag-travel siya sa Vrindavan to see Krishna. So may mga inaupas siyang wonderful prayer. So apparently, because of that prayer, he, he was given this title na siya yung perfected pers- uh, personality who perfected the art of praying to Lord Krishna. So siya sa praying. So executing orders naman, or dasyam, di ba, as a servant, Meron naman this personality na si Hanuman. Si Hanuman, uh, we know na siya yung eternal servant and not just servant, eternal friend ni Lord Ramachandra who appeared before Krishna, di ba? Before Lord Krishna, there was this uh, uh, Lord Krishna in the form of uh, Ram and Lakshman. So merong battle din yun. And this Hanuman is the, uh, is the monkey king. He's, the, he's not a monkey king, but he's the half monkey half human personality <clears throat> a very much um, uh, important sa sa role niya sa ramayan so siya naman yung embodiment siya naman ang nagperfect ng executing the orders kasi wala siyang ibang ginawa kundi uh, ram tell me what to do i'll do it naman so te- sa number eight naman as a friend yun nga as we we know arjuna di ba arjuna was so close to krishna that the Lord offered him to become his chariot driver and serve Arjuna and his brothers in various ways. So yun tinitake ni Lord Krishna na position kasi nga he was so intimate with, with Arjuna and the Pandavas and Arjuna being his most intimate friend. So si Arjuna naman yung naka-perfect nun. He was so perfect as a friend na si Krishna <laughs> na force siya. Hindi siya na force pa, sorry na inalaw niya na uh, yung itong friend na to by, by the request of my friend, chariot driver ako. Parang gano'n. Then complete surrender naman yung tawag na Atma Niveda nam. Yung sa last na process, na nine process of devotion service. There is this personality. So also a king, Bali Maharaj. So there was a story how the Lord, um, as, a, as a boy incarnation, um, taught a lesson to this king and this king uh, gloriously and victoriously um, passed the test because um, long story short he was able to give surrender everything because he's a powerful king he practically owned the whole the entire universe at that time but he was able to give them up because of the request of the lord so anyway just to say that the lord krishna sa particular na story na to kaya napakahirap kay Arjuna makamove on kasi pinerfect ni Krishna yung ano eh, yung relationship niya sa kanila eh, as a friend eh. So si Krishna yung the best. He's the best warrior. He's the best uh, husband. He is the best sa lahat. So even in becoming a friend, he's the best of uh, the friends of Arjuna. Kaya sobrang hirap makamove on para kay Arjuna. Not just for Arjuna but for the Pandavas and those who are who know Krishna and ang beloved kay Krishna. Mahirap sa kanila makamove on. Just like the Gopi sa Vrindavan, mawala lang si Krishna. But at this time, hindi lang basta-basta nawala si Krishna na pwede mo pang hanapin. This time, wala na talaga siya. Nag-disappear na siya. And there was this whole story of how Lord Krishna actually disappeared. Pero we will reserve that for, for the proper time. We just want to focus here on how a devotees or how, how the devotees actually feels how they act in in that most unfortunate time when they know that the lord 
has yeah, is now out of their sight. Hindi na nila may reach si Krishna. So imagine, imagine we can only just imagine the uh, the the feelings of Arjuna here. Kaya ganun na lang siya ka-dejected, choked up. Hindi siya maka hindi siya makakilos, hindi siya makapagsalita. Ganun. Hmm. Tapos may sinasabi nga ni Rito na, di ba yung pinag-uusapan natin na how Arjuna is so powerful. Uh, apparently, lahat ng mga powers na yun, eh, nawala na rin daw. And may dinidescribe si Sir Prabhupada dito na, na lesson sa text number 5. Na, si Krishna, di ba, nung bumaba siya rito for, for this particular mission to deliver the pious and highlight the miscreants. Marami rin nagbabaan ng mga demigods. And all of these great personalities uh, are acting uh, by the will of the Lord. And they were endowed by powers. So since sabi si Prabhupada sa text number 5, na, na since tapos na yung mission and si Lord Krishna is wrapping up his, his act dito sa uh, material world, uh, lahat ng mga demigods and all the required powers that was, all their um, given powers that were required to... Uh, serve the mission, is also taken away. So naturally, tinatanggal din sa kanila. Kasi wala nang purpose eh. Hindi mo na siya pwedeng gamitin eh. So similarly, ganun din yung nafe-feel ni Arjuna at is it, as it was described here. All his powers, yung kanila, kanyang magaling na mga powers sa Chatria, and nawala rin daw yun. And may very interesting na sinabi dito si Sheila Prabhupada. The lesson is, therefore, that no one should be puffed up for his powers borrowed from the Lord. The sane man should rather feel obliged to the Lord for such benefactions and must utilize such power for the service of the Lord. Such power can be drawn at any time by the Lord. So the best use of such power and opulence is to engage them in the service of the Lord. Gusto ko pa sana i, i, i sabihin niyo yung story, the classic story. It's a Vedic story. Or it is a Gaudiya Vaishnavism. It's a Gaudiya tradition that... Again, you become a mouse. The story of that um, mouse who wanted to have a certain type of body because he was threatened. But the long story short, after he was given what he desired for, turned to the to the sage, na parang nabigay sa kanya ng ganong boon. And dahil binigyan siya ng body ng tiger, kasi before he was just a mouse, na feel hungry siya, gusto niya kainin yung sage. The long story short, parang bumalik siya sa pagiging mouse kasi you're not being grateful you're not you're being puffed up by your position parang ganun so basically since sabi siya papa all these powers we should not uh, be puffed up with them because this is ultimately by the grace of the lord and he can withdraw it anytime sa so parang ganun sinasabi ni sinasabi dito sa purport na all of this yung mga yung mga na, yung mga powers ni Arjuna is nawala na rin. Kaya nga ganun, yung bodily luster niya, wala na, bagsak na. Even the power of speech, apparently, parang wala na. Wala na siyang energy. So ganun. Let us not be be puffed up. <clears throat> so yun lang. I think that my time is up. Pero it's a wonderful, um, exp- it's a wonderful story how a devotee feels. And this is Arjuna. We're talking about Arjuna who's an intimate friend. Kasi, husband and wife relationship um, lord and master relationship medyo may mga restrictions eh pag friend kasi wala eh di ba minsan nga may mga tao sinasabi ang hirap mahir- mas mahirap makamubon sa kanila pag nawala yung friend nila kaysa sa parang alam mo yung kapatid or ano kasi minsan mas na-express yung sarili mo sa kaibigan eh di ba i think all of us can relate to that so pag nawala yung very dear friend natin seemingly mas affected pa ta- affected pa tayo kaysa sa ina parang immediate relatives pero with a friend and we're talking about Arjuna his his most intimate friend Krishna you know he's gone Hare Krishna Navadip Chandra Prabhu take it away Hare Krishna good morning everyone so gagaling nga eh alam mo, itong dalawang to, si Radha Charan at si Radha Nath Prabhu. Yung sinasabi niyang hap, uh, yung sinasabi nga ba't kay Hanuman, nakita ko sa kanila ano parang half monk, half amazing. 
gagaling nila mag ano, mag-present ng mga ano ng mga Yan, ano, galing eh, sa pagbibigay ng title. <laughs> Ah, uh, hindi magaling naman talaga eh. I really admire kung paano sila ano yung compose na compose sila. Ako gulong-gulo ako sa gusto kong i-present eh, actually. But anyway, sabi nga dito sa ano sa malungkot talaga dito si Arjuna. Kaya actually habang nire-remember niya yung mga mga ano niya kay Krishna, asabayan natin siya. So Sabi dito, only by his merciful strength was able to vanquish all the last prince, prince, princes assembled at the place of King Drupada for the selection of bridegroom. With, bow, with my bow and arrow, I could pierce the fish target and thereby gain the hand of Drupadi. So, merong ano dito? Merong... Mer- Patayin na nga natin. Hindi, maganda. Maganda para maalaala mo kaya. Tama yung maalaala mo kaya kasi si ina- nire-remember ni Arjuna. Okay nga yun. Okay Hari Krishna. <laughs> Lala tala yan. Naiiyak na ako eh. <laughs> Si ano, <laughs> hindi sa malungkot tayo, nakakatawa. Hindi, um, si ano dito, si Arjuna, kinikwento niya na yung time na nandun si si Krishna sa tabi niya na yung swayambara ang tawag doon, di ba? Um, na ano sila? Ano to? Yun, yun yung time na, na si Dro, dito na sa Porport. Dropadi was a most beautiful daughter of King Drupada. And when she was a young young girl, almost all the prince prince decide her hand. Si Dropadi, ano yan, uh, black beauty siya actually. And sobrang in, enchanting yung beauty niya. So, yung there are times na nag ano nag ano to nag yung ibibigay na ni King Drupada si Drupadi sa mga kings so pero kailangan ng ano ng ng competition and actually alam naman ni ni King Drupada uh, gusto niya ibigay kay Arjuna pero actually at the time wala si Arjuna nasa incognito sila or nasa forest sila pero hindi niya alam na darating si si Arjuna pero anyway maraming magagaling na kings doon kings of kings talaga yung mga labanan doon pero tos to 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 have the 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 um ano yung 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 hand ni Dropadi may kailangan gawin muna of course marami pang mga kailangan gawin doon pero uh, na competition P- pinaka last doon is yung ta targetin yung umiikot na fish na uh, ita-target yung yung ainon sa so umiikot na fish na nakatingin hindi doon sa target kundi nakatingin sa tubig na nagtitrembling pa yung tubig. So sabi niya dito, kung hindi dahil doon na wala sa tabi niya si Krishna, hindi niya magagawa yun. So lahat ng mga achievement niya, uh, inaano niya, um, Uh, sinasabi niya na kundi dahil kay Krishna hindi niya magagawa yun. Which is true. Meron tayong mga kaibigan na gano'n na uh, nagbibigay sa atin ng strength, ng encouragement and all. So, uh, ang, nanggagaling sa kanila yung enthusiasm natin, yung energy natin. That's why we're always uh, associating with the uh, devotees. And yung mga friend natin are devotees. And then sabi naman dito sa text 8, Because he was near me, it was possible for me to conquer with dex- dexterity. Dexterity is yung parang cleverness or quickness ng mind. Great dexterity, the powerful king of heaven, 
in their day, along with his demigods associates, and thus enable the far god to devastate the Kandava forest. <clears throat> and only by his grace was demon named Maya saved from the blazing Kanda forest, and thus we could build our assembly house of wonderful architectural workmanship. Where all the princes assembled during the performance of Raja Shuya Yagya and paid you tributes. So yon, merong backstory ulit dito sa purport ni Prabhupad na yung demon, demon Maya Danova was inhabitant of the forest Kandava. And when Kandava forest was set on fire, he asked protection from Arjuna. Arjuna saved his life. And as a result of his of this demon felt obliged, he reciprocated by building a wonderful assemble, assembly house for the Pandavas, which attracted, attracted the extraordinary attention of all state prince. They felt the supernatural powers of the Pandavas, and thus, without grudge, all of them submitted and paid tributes to the emperor. The demon possessed wonderful and supernatural powers to create material wonders, but they are always disturbing elements of the society. The modern demons are harm harmful mat mat material scientists who create some material wonders for disturbance in the society. For example, creating a nuclear weapons has caused some panic in human society. Maya was also a materialist like that. And he knew the art of creating such wonderful things. And yet Lord Krishna wanted him to kill. So he was chased by the fire and the will of Lord Krishna. He took shelter of such a devotee as Arjuna who saved him from the wrath of fire of Lord Krishna. Yun nga eh, kahit enemy mo ba, basta pag nag-take shelter sa'yo, you protect pa rin eh. Devotees are therefore more merciful than the Lord. And, and in devotional service, the mercy of a devotee is more valuable than the mercy of the Lord. So yun nga, that's why most of the time, we take shelter of the... Uh, the devotees of Krishna, which is our spiritual master, and uh, the devotees around us, laging ganon. Na, na, mas, mas, ano yun, uh, mas potent daw kesa direct tayo kay Krishna. Devotees are therefore, uh, so both the fire and the Lord cease the, from chasing the demon as soon as both of them saw the demon was given shelter by such a devotee as Arjuna. This demon obliged to Arjuna wanted to do him some service to show his gratefulness. But Arjuna declined accepting anything from him in exchange. Lord Krishna, however, being pleased with Maya, Maya Danava, for this taking shelter of a devotee, asked him to render service unto, unto King Yudhisthira by building a wonderful assembly house. Now, this process that by the grace of a devotee, the mercy of the Lord is obtained. And by the mercy of the Lord had a chance to serve, the Lord's devotee is obtained. The club of Bhima Shain was also a gift from Maya Danava. So yun yun, may kita natin na uh, yun nga, the art of loving someone is to please his beloved. So kahit gusto silang patahin ni Krishna, Eh, na, -please sil na, na please nila yung devotee ni Krishna. So, hindi na sila pinatay. And then, dito naman sa text 9. Your respectable younger brother who possess the strength of 10,000 elephants killed by his grace, Jarasanda, who were feet worshipped by many kings. These kings have been brought for sacrifice in Jarasanda's Maha Bhairava Yagna, but they were thus released. Later, they paid tribute to your majesty. 
So yun, si backstory ulit. <clears throat> you see Jaya, Jaya, uh, Jara Sanda was a very powerful king of Magda. And sa uh, history nga ng birth activities niya, uh, his father, King Pridarada, was also a very prosperous and powerful king of Magda. So meron niya yung two daughters yun. Um, uh, he married two daughters of the king of Kashi, being disappointed. So hindi siya nagkaroon ng hindi siya magkaroon ng anak do sa dalawang daughters. Pero so ang ginawa nila, malis sila ng bahay pumunta sila sa forest. Ngayon, but in the forest there was benedicted by one of the great rishi to have a son. And he gave him one mango to be eaten by the queens. The queens did so and were very soon pregnant. The king was very happy to see the queens. Um, so yun, naging masaya sila, nagkaroon sila ng, ng mga anak. And, but actually, isang part dito is, um, how to say it? The two parts, uh, but when the right time approached the queens, delivered one child in two parts from one each of his queen. The two parts were thrown in the forest where, where a great she-demon used to live. So na, napulot ng great demon yon, yung she-demon. Imbis na gusto niyang kainin dahil gutom na siya. Sa curiosity niya, pinagdugtong niya. Nabuhay ngayon. Nabuhay. So nabuhay yung bata na yon. The she demon was known as Jara and being compassionate to the child's king. She went to the king and present him. Pinaresent niya sa king yung ano yung yung ano na yon, yung uh, bata na nabuhay. So she demon wanted to reward her according. The she demon expressed her desire that the child be named after her. And that's the uh, that's the child, the surname Jarasanda. So yun yung yung history ng pangalan Jarasanda. To to make the long story short, um, naging ano yon? Uh, naging kalaban nila, and then uh, pero naging kakampi din nila si ano si Jarasanda kahit di mo siya. So dun sa pwede yung i i read yung purport. Pero ang main point dito sa sinasabi ni Arjuna na mga remembrance niya is kung tayo sabi nga daw, in life no one will remember how look, how we look. Mostly everyone just remember us by Sabi nga, how we how how you made them feel when they are with you. <clears throat> so yun. Lagi nga siya sabi na every one of us are uh, the author of our own book. And yes, make uh, make your book or make your life um, very uh, inspiring. And sabi nga. Sabi nga ni Radhanath Prabhu, kung nag ano, tayo, kung nag susulat tayo ng libro ngayon, at the present moment, nasang chapter na tayo ng buhay natin. So, make everyone uh, inspiring and then uh, help help each other and be happy. Increase the consciousness. So, thank you very much. Her hurry, boy. Gusto ko yung kinukot mo yung Sinabi ni Radanat Prabhu. Sige, gagawin ko nga rin yun. Kakot ko yung galing sa inyo. Ako nasa ano ako, plot twist ako ng buhay ko. <laughs> Laging plot twist. <laughs> o kaya nasa table of contents. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Um, yes, it was the saddest day for um, Yudhisthira Maharaj to confirm this. And also, uh, the saddest days will come because um, Lord Krishna descend, um um, ascended again to the spiritual world together with 
kung nakita niyo yung poster natin, ang dami niyang kasama. Sabi ni Radhanath Prabhu, quoting, <laughs> di-discuss natin yon, i-reserve natin yon kasi maganda yung detail, mga detail na yon. In the chap, first canto mostly, mga pahapiyaw lang na story to, before um, mag-go deeper. Kung baga, mas nakikilala muna natin yung mga characters. So yes, um, we'll see each other again tomorrow. Pero we could go to the other room by, um, yeah, now, sa room ni Guru Maharaj. Uh, I posted yung link sa ating mga group chat for another um, Srimad Bhagavatam class. He's discussing yung mga past time ni Lord Nishinga Deep and Kulad Maharaj. And tonight, may, may village talk ba tayo? Announce namin. <laughs> Announce na. Granta Raj Srimad Bhagavatam. Kijay. Shere Prabhupad. Kijay. Gora Pramananda, Ari Arival. Oh, glories to the assembled devotees. Oh, glories to the assembled devotees. Oh, glories to the assembled devotees. Hare Krishna. Lipa tayo sa room ni Guru Maharaj. Kita-kits. Hare Krishna.